Hi guys, thank you for joining me. In this video I'm going to be doing a four day, yeah, four day hike. Um, so I'm here in the Surrey Hills and um, yeah, I'm on my first day. Got dropped off nearby and then I just walked in, started walking in in this woodland bit. It's going to be a really nice camp and hike for like three nights. I hope you enjoy this video. You open the sky, I'll carry you home, home to the mountain near. And soon, my friend, you'll see them again. Once you left me behind, the ones you left me behind, and I'll sing for you. So I'm just having my first stop. I'm hoping to walk roughly four miles today and then I'm going to keep walking and find somewhere to camp for the night and then tomorrow I'll move on and walk to like my new destination. So that's probably four miles or six miles, it depends how I'm feeling really. My pack is just under 20 kilograms, so I've weighed it. I don't normally weigh my bag because I don't really need to when you're bushcrafting, you don't walk that far. Um, so I was hoping to get it a lot lower than that, probably about 16, 17 kilos, because I'm not um, like an, I'm not a hiker really, I don't hike a lot with heavy weight, so I'm not really used to it but that is, it's about just under 20 kilograms with um, my water, food, camping gear, camera equipment, um, and that's all my food for four days. I will have to find water points on the way, so I know there's a few places on the way that I can stop and get some water, but at the moment I've got like four litres so that's for today, and then I have to stop somewhere and refill tomorrow. But yeah, it's really hot today, which is a good and bad thing really, because I don't have much water, but it's, it's nice, nice weather. So I think it is going to rain today, and I think in two days time it's gonna be like thunder and lightning all day. So, love that. Gonna enjoy walking in a, a storm. <laughs> if it does actually happen, you can't really rely on the on the weather. So yeah, I'm gonna have a quick break and uh, carry on with my walk. So my pack is a Osprey, and it's six to five liters. So I've got everything in there. I, I'm guessing I'll get used to it after a while. Like I said, I don't hike loads with like lots of weight, so yeah, I think it's just getting used to it. So right over there is where I came from, got dropped off, you can kind of see the path that I was on. But yeah, it was like this, this piece going along here. So yeah, I've come quite a way. Been, been good. Just eating some blackberries that were on the way.
so I've just been walking and I got around the corner and saw all these blocking the path. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna have to just like walk through them or I can't really get round them because you have to trek up some hills. So, we'll uh, see how this goes. I don't know if they're human friendly or what, but. <laughs> They're pretty big. So I made it through that one, luckily. But yeah. Right now I'm just finding somewhere to camp, so just going to look for a flat area that's not got too many like deadfall trees around because it's going to be really windy. And uh, this place is all on a slant because it's all uphill. So I'm still scouting around for a place to stay. Ideally I want somewhere that's quite off the path, no widow makers and that's really level. I brought my DD tent with me so I've got to set that up. It's raining tonight so it's a hard choice of what to find but this view is stunning, it's so nice. There's the cows from earlier where I was walking. So I finally found somewhere to camp. I'm in like a beach forest. So yeah. I know that beech trees can be prone to falling, but this was the only area that was quite sheltered from the path, um, and it and it um, didn't have any deadfall. It was flat, or well, fairly flat. So, as you can see, there's nothing dodgy above me, but I'm sure it'd be all right. But it's nice to finally find somewhere. I was looking for quite a while. I'm going to set up my DD tent, get all my gear ready, and then I've got my alcohol for cooking. I've got rice and salami for dinner every day, so that's what I'm going to be cooking. So yeah, it's nice to finally have finally stopped. So this is my pack. It's the Osprey Aura 65. So I got this a while ago and um, I'm really happy with it. Fits everything I need for doing like campouts and like hiking trips.
so it's two o'clock now and I'm all set up, done my tent, my sleeping mat and my sleeping bag and I organised all my other little bits. Um, it looks like it's going to rain, it was forecasted to rain today and it's clouded over so I think I set up just in time, it's really good timing. So I'm using a Athenia sleeping bag um, which is like I think it's two or three seasons so normally I take my Rab um, Ascent 900 with me I take that everywhere with me I love that bag but I think this was just that bit lighter so I wanted to take that instead and it also compacts a little bit more and then I've got my Thermarest Venture sleeping mat my roll mat that's inflatable so I've blown that up just take don't take even that long um, and that's really comfy that's definitely worth the wait sleep is really important so I wanted to have quite a nice sleep set up while I'm doing this trip and then I'll be cooking on this tonight so it's my Pathfinder alcohol stove and um, it's got methylated spirits in there so it's just starting to rain now so that was such good timing setting that all up got everything inside and um, yeah I guess I might just be cooking in my waterproof saw in the festival today I'm not gonna do a fire um, that's why I bought my stove I also bought some spare alcohol as well not alcohol alcohol but <laughs> methylated spirits with me um, so yeah that that was a good shout bringing some spare of that so I don't have to go collect some firewood try and dig a pit and um, light one so the path leading on to where I'm heading tomorrow isn't too far away I think it's like a couple of miles and then I'm back on track um, so yeah it's not too bad I had to venture out a little bit um, to find somewhere this area is still on a little bit of a slope like I said a lot of this is all on a slope but this is the flattest place I could really find so I'll have to do Right, so I've got my alcohol stove set up. Now I've put this collapsible like tripod on top of there. And I've also got the matching cup that fits on to the, to the stand really snug, really nicely. So that's a Pathfinder mug as well that's <laughs> been used well. Um, this is also a reason why my pack is quite heavy because I have a lot of bushcrafting equipment instead of like lightweight hiking equipment so really you should have like titanium stuff light pots and things like that this is stainless steel this is stainless steel so it weighs really heavy but it's also robust but the hiking it's not ideal and also like my sleeping bag and my tent isn't real lightweight I've got a titanium sport though so I'm doing well on that. <laughs>
So my rice and terepso is finally cooked on the alcohol stove. It wasn't even that long, it took, um, it's pretty quick, it wasn't, it wasn't long at all. So uh, I'm actually so hungry now and uh, I'm looking forward to this. I really like bringing terepso because I think it's, it's really nice when you add it to like rice or literally any meal because it's got a nice bit of flavour and uh, it's long lasting as well so that's why I bought it on this four day trip it's nice to add to like rice meals or just to eat on its own just spices it up a bit um, yeah so I like taking that so hungry cheers guys So I'm so glad it finally cleared up. I think the sun's coming out again. Um, I'm not too sure if it's raining throughout the night. Yeah. But I've really enjoyed day one. It's been good. Especially now I've got something to eat and my shelter's set up. But that was such good timing. Um, missing out on the rain. That would have been awful wet, wet uh, set up um, and hopefully all my stuff dries out through the sun and like the wind but tomorrow when I'm packing it out and putting it back in my bag I did bring like a spare black bag just to put my tent in in case it is wet to put on the outside of my bag because um, I knew it was going to rain yeah it's been showers on and off for about three hours now so I've been in my tent for a lot of it and been outside yeah I had my dinner and then when I went uh, and then I went for a little walk um, then I made a little peg for the vestibule um, washed up just little things like that um, nothing major I'm going to get an early night tonight, so it's obviously raining, it's in for the night, and um, yeah, I'm pretty shattered to be honest, so I think I'll get an early night and then I can get up early tomorrow morning and start, start my walk early, so that's the plan. I've also been looking at the route I'm going to do tomorrow. So I've been choosing that and then planning different water stops on the way where I can fill up my water. So I know that there's one that's like two miles two miles away, there's like a, a tap on a National Trust building and then two miles after that there's a load of streams or like little lakes. Um, so I could, I brought my water filter with me. My Catadine one. It only holds 0 0.6 litres. So this is the end of day one. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It'll be good fun. Night guys.
morning guys, day two. It wasn't too bad last night. I thought that I'd uh, have trouble sleeping because of the slope, but it was all good. I slept really well. I went to bed quite early and um, woke up at half five this morning, so I could have an early start. But yeah, it's pretty cold this morning though. Really cold. Looking forward to day two. That's what we got on the menu this morning. Some porridge. So I'm going to add this with water. And then I've brought powdered milk along with me as well. This is the add milk one. Picked it up by accident. But oh well, it will work. 